Hey guys, be sure to check out our daily free play at our main website, stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel to continue to get all of our pick video plays heading into today's matchup. Going to be talking about a contest over in the National League on a day where there's not a whole lot of action on the board, but we're going to be talking about a matchup here between the San Diego Padres and the Cincinnati Reds, two teams that are currently sitting more in the bottom of their respective divisions. Uh, the San Diego Padres right now standing 49-61 and 61 overall which puts them 29 and a half games back of the first place, Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers having themselves just an insanely successful regular season. And the Padres, I wasn't expecting much of anything out of the Padres this year, but they've actually been a bit more competitive than I was expecting. This is kind of a mishmash ragtag group of young guys and, uh, you know, guys that are kind of just learning as they go uh, – Certainly a rebuilding year for the Padres. Nothing else was expected out of this group. But the fact that they're only 12 games under 500 is pretty impressive. And you got to give a lot of credit to the Padres coaching staff for really getting the most out of the roster that they've been handed this year. Um, the Padres right now, they do not rank well on either side of the ball. And the fact that they've been able to win 49 games, given the fact that they rank dead last in baseball in total runs scored, as well as just 22nd in total team earned run average, again, is a credit to the coaching staff, especially in those close games where they've been able to pull out a number of wins in very competitive contests, even though they have also suffered their fair share of convincing defeats. The Padres lost in their last outing in walk-off fashion as Rodriguez, his return to the Pirates, uh, going quite well for him as he hit a walk-off home run yesterday. The Padres picked up one win in their three-game series on the road against the Pirates. They're going to try to pick up some more wins in this road series here against the Cincinnati Reds, who are currently sitting just 45 and 66 overall, 13 and a half games back of the Chicago Cubs in the NL Central. The Reds, another team that knew that they were going to be in rebuild mode this year, but, I mean, coming into the season... Uh, not a whole lot of people would have had the Padres winning more games than the Reds overall, but that's where we currently stand right now. The Reds, uh, they've had their issues mainly pitching-wise. They rank dead last in all of baseball, 30th in total team earned run average at 5.17 runs per game. Uh, Batting-wise, they have been a bit better offensively, obviously, than their pitching has been. They rank 19th in all of baseball in total runs scored, and It'll be interesting to see how this series shakes out. You have the worst offensive team in baseball going against the worst pitching team in all of baseball. It'll be interesting to see how that dynamic kind of shakes out in this one. The Cincinnati Reds today are going to be sending out 24-year-old righty Robert Stevenson. He's made 16 appearances this year with just three of those being starts. Not effective. He's posted a 6.98 ERA with a 1.85 whip. Pretty ugly numbers, but... At least Stevenson was respectable in his last outing, which came on the road against the Pittsburgh Pirates, where he logged five and two-thirds innings, giving up two hits, one earned run, two walked to four strikeouts. Much better stuff there from Stevenson coming off his prior outing, where he gave up seven walks and was pulled early after four and a third innings on the road against the Miami Marlins. The Padres are going to counter today with the veteran righty, uh, Julius Chasin. Uh, Chassin has actually been pretty solid this year in the rotation for the Padres, um, much better than anyone was expecting. The eight-year veteran has made 22 starts, posting a 3.99 ERA, 104 strikeouts with a 1.26 whip. Uh, Chassin was great again in his last outing, which came at home against the Minnesota Twins, where he logged seven innings, giving up just three hits, zero runs, two walks to three strikeouts, and coming off such a great start, uh, we think that Chessine can build off of that and have another strong outing here today going against the Cincinnati Reds. So neither of these teams, like we said, having a ton of success this year, but the Padres have been a lot better than we were expecting. The Cincinnati Reds probably a little bit worse than we were expecting at this point in the season, but the Padres come into this one as underdogs, and we give them quite a significant edge here on the mound. And if they're able just to produce any kind of run support, they should have a pretty decent shot at picking up this upset on the road. So we're going to go ahead and take the road team today taking the San Diego Padres straight up as our MLB video play of the day. And again, guys, to get our daily free pick over at our main website, check out stumpthespread.com, linked in the video description, and click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So thanks for stopping on in. We hope to see you in future videos. Bye.